What's up, everybody? Emerald Void here. Thompson Games here. And uh, Eric is going to go over his uh, character build for his Borderlands 2 Zero character. And we're also just doing this to 61. He has the expansion, so he could go to 72, but I don't. So we're probably just going to play it to 61 and then either in the series there or get the expansion and play it to 72. I'm not exactly sure yet on that. Yeah. But uh, what you working with, Eric? Well, I'm going to put all uh, five in the headshot just to have that extra damage and, you know, kill people a bit easier. So the 20% crit? 20% crit damage, yeah. So the, I imagine that he put 30 points into sniping and 26 into cunning, so I imagine that all this is based off sniper rifles. Yeah, it does. And then stacking crits with, like, headshots and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's not all sniper rifles. Like, the headshot will work with any gun. It's just that sniper rifles have higher crit damage than other guns. So you get a higher chance of crit with a sniper rifle plus the 20% crit from the skill. So you're getting more crit damage with sniper rifles. So it's more yeah. beneficial to use them? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty neat. I like how all the skills synergize together. Uh... 15% zoom and 60% aim steadiness, so if your uh, crosshair doesn't shake as much when you're aiming at stuff. Reduces aim disruption when taking damage. So if you're getting shot, you won't be bouncing all over the place. Yeah. Okay, so that's optics, and then... Uh, killer. I didn't really read this. Okay, so you get more critical damage and reload speed after you kill somebody, so... Putting five into that just because I had to move on to the next rank, basically. So you're basically, when you kill an enemy, you get a 50% crit hit damage and 75% reload speed. So that, that will stack with the 20% headshot. I don't know if it stacks, but it, it will do more damage either way. So that's pretty neat. And then you just took that to get down to this second yeah. or third layer right here. One shot, one kill. I like that. I like this bonus damage from the first shot in the, the magazine, but I like the bullet travel speed more. Oh, so you, you took just two in this, so you could take the so, five in that? Yeah. So one shot, one kill, you get 24% extra damage from a loaded, fully loaded magazine. Is that... Do all of these stack, is my question. Because like, if they did, that would just be insane. Like, you're looking at some like high damage output, yeah, like I'm, crit damage. Like I'm not game. really sure, but it probably does. That's uh, just a cool skill. Like, I, yeah. I'm glad that they added that as a skill. Or, like, that can do massive damage whenever you, like, line it up right. It's a really good skill. So it pierces through enemies, gaining 100% damage per enemy pierced. Enemy crit locations highlighted in Deception. Oh, that's cool. So you can go Deception, and then it highlights the crit spots. Yeah. So That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Uh, velocity, like I said, the bullets move faster, so it's more reliable to aim with. Higher critical hit damage and 10% bonus gun damage, so that's always good. Stacking damage. So you're stacking damage and crit, basically. Yeah. Okay, so you're going crit build with this. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so the longer you aim, the more crit damage. Yeah, basically. That is pretty sick. I like that. That'll work really well with deception because the longer you're in deception, the more damage you do. So that's always going to be better. Uh, I just had to move down to the. So you just put the one in that to get down. Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, that's just stacks a whole bunch, so I just thought that could be pretty good for so a late game. So stacks 999 times. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's... So, scoring a critical hit with a sniper rifle gives you plus 6 critical hit damage and 5% damage with sniper rifles. So you'll be a beast if you I imagine this shit bunch. stacks. It would have to. Like. Yeah. Alright, so that's all for the sniping tree. What did you pick in the cunning tree? Uh... Fast, re fast hands, reload speed 25%, weapon swap speed 50%. How often do you think you'll use the weapon swap? Uh, if I'm sniping and somebody has run up at me, I can like, switch to a pistol or something and shoot them. Like Feel faster? Fast. Yeah, okay. so it, it might come in handy a lot. 25% fire rate and 15% gun damage when your shield's depleted. Uh, so you shoot faster when your shield's down. Yeah. It's and you do more damage. Basically just help you survive a little bit. How often? Well, 
I would ask how often do you think this will come in handy, but like we've went down a couple of times in yeah. that playthrough, so. so yeah, that that's pretty handy. Probably pretty often. Uh, rising shot. I would have took all five in this, but I wanted to get the death mark, so I had to only take four in it since we're only going to sixty-one. I feel like it, it's it's kind of a setback because some of the better skills you can't get access to because we're only playing to 61. Yeah. Because there were some skills for Gage that I wanted in the Chaos side. Yeah. Like the Anarchy for one. Like I wanted Anarchy really, really badly. Because I just thought that would just... The, the character design for that for me was just all about chaos and disorder. Throwing out the death trap. Shooting death lasers, blowing stuff up, just fucking shit up. And I really didn't get access to the third skill tree because I just didn't have enough points. Because we only went to 61. Yeah. So you took the death mark. Death mark. Uh, which I thought was cool as shit. All sources deal more damage for 8 seconds. Take 20, takes 20 cent more damage from all sources. So, so you can mark them and I can do extra damage with my yeah. death trap. Basically. So they synergize really well. Yeah, they do. That's cool as shit. Alright. Uh, Innervate. You gain 10% gun damage, 35% movement speed. Okay, that's pretty cool. What does stealth, What does deception give you normally? Just makes you invisible? It will throw out, like, a target, and then people will go attack that, and then you can, like, run away and go shoot them for, like, a ton of extra damage. So it'll just give you even more damage, and you can run away farther and regenerate health while you're in deception. So that's pretty neat. So deception and uh, kill confirmed. You can throw out your deception, run away, snipe them with a kill confirmed, and get extra crit damage. Yeah. Plus the ten percent gun damage mm -hmm. with the innervate. Yep. Plus all the other stuff stacking. Yeah. That's pretty cool, dude. I like that. I I think for me. Personally, the last two skills you picked in Cunning are like my favorites of, yeah. of the whole build. Like, like being able to shoot twice. Like, like I think a thirty yeah. percent chance to fire twice. That's really good. Like Two Fang, that's badass. Because like, you got a, a one in three chance that you're gonna, well, a little under one in three, like yeah. one in like two and a half, maybe something. I don't know math, but getting to shoot twice. Does it use two bullets? Uh. I don't know. Maybe. But, I mean, like, you're still doing a whole lot of damage. And then I imagine this stuff stacks with all this, Probably. too. And then the last skill you pick, hands down, one of my favorites that you, that you picked. Uh, throw a handful of kunai. has a random elemental effect. And you can use it with death mark to mark enemies. So, it's just really good. And it also doesn't take you out of deception. Oh, my God. That's cool as shit. So, you can, so you can just deception up throw some kunai, run the fuck away, and then, like, death mark people. Yeah. And then back up, and then, like, just blow them away. Yeah, with... basically ass fuck them. <laughs> That's pretty cool, dude. I like that. I think this is gonna be a pretty fun playthrough, guys, uh, once we get to the high-level shit. Right now, it's kinda just, you know, we're doing what we can do to get our levels and stuff, and it, it's, you know, it is what it is right now, but I think late game, when we start building up our skills and getting our, uh, getting our stuff I think the game's really gonna pick up yeah. what uh, what, are, what are you taking first like what is your first like if you had to you know, prioritize these two trees which tree are you going in first I'm probably gonna do sniping first and then out of headshot and optics which one are you taking I think I already started in headshot so I'll probably keep going down with headshot then are you gonna go down and get killer or are you gonna finish up optics and then go to killer uh, what's killer do again real quick Killer's the one that gives you... Uh, um, I'd probably take optics. To get the extra zoom and the, the aim. Yeah, to get the aim steadiness. Then killer. And then killer, yeah. And then out of these three, what are you going to prioritize? Uh, I don't remember if you can get boar before you get the, the five on either side. So if I could, I would get boar. But if not, I would get velocity over... Uh, what, what's the other one called? One, one shot, shot, one, one kill. kill. Yeah. Okay. So, going to get killer, and then probably velocity if you can't get boar. Yeah. Then after you, if you can get boar, you get boar, then velocity, or boar, yeah. then one shot? Boar, then velocity. Then one shot? Then one shot. Then just follow it down? Yeah. All right, what about over here? Obviously, probably the fast hands first, because you didn't yeah. really want the counter strike. So, I'd probably fast hand, you'll probably just go down and follow yeah. the path. 
I'll just go down and follow the path. So basically. five, five, four, and then all the way down. Yep. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. I like that they. Uh, I like and hate that each one of these is every level because it's like, damn, it's gonna take so long to get to the Death Blossom and to the Critical Ascension. Yeah. And like to the good stuff, to the good late game content. But that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Um, if you like it, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget, Borderlands 2 comes out every Saturday. Uh, don't forget to check it out. Down in the uh, on the top up here, a little eye should have popped up that lets you uh, check out the Borderlands uh, 2 playlist that we got going. And uh, at the end of the video, there should be a clickable playlist button that takes you straight there if you just want to watch to the end. But uh, I'm Emerald Void. I'm Thompson Games. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.